Well, welcome to another version of real life, real stories of white men <laughs> gone wild. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Whatever side of the diaspora that you're on, let me welcome you to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay. This is what a lot of us expected. And so Hillary Clinton came on The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. And uh, she said that the United States must be ready for the possibility that Donald Trump will not go quietly from the White House if he loses in November and that he may blame the mail-in votes. Okay? All right. Hillary Clinton appeared on The Daily Show on Monday night with Trevor Noah and she warned that November's election could see Donald Trump cry for all. She said that the United States needed to be ready for that possibility and have a game plan. <laughs> oh, my God. Clinton said time will tell if he loses whether he's going to go quietly or not. She said there was a real risk Republicans would try to disenfranchise voters. Foreign interference in November in election cannot be ruled out. Okay. Now, I don't know how many people would really disagree with her, really. Uh, uh, anyway, she uh, also says, um, Clinton said that Trump's repeated warnings of mass voting fraud, if mail-in ballots are in widespread use in November does not stand up to scrutiny. There have been so many academic studies and other analyses which point out that it's just an inaccurate and some fraudulent claim, she said. There isn't a problem. All the games that are played to try to keep the vote down, that's the real danger to the integrity of our election. That combined with disinformation and misinformation and all the online shenanigans that are going on. Uh, and we saw it in 2016, she said. She continued, Republicans have two prongs in their strategies to try to win. The first is to try to prevent uh, as many people who they think won't vote for them from voting. So to make the lines really, really long where young people vote and where African American and Hispanic votes. Um, try to... Uh, uh, um, make it as difficult as possible. And everybody knows vote by mail. Anybody that knows the vote by mail system understands that. She says she works with Democracy Docket to support lawsuits to make the vote available. Clinton said that there remain, however, real danger of an election rig to lower the turnout or meddle uh, with from abroad. Look, I want a fair election, she said. If people get to vote and they, for whatever reason, vote for Donald Trump, okay, we'll accept. Not happily, but it is what it is. That's me. I don't think that that will happen, though, because I think more people who can actually get to the polls, whether by mail or in person, or have their votes counted, then they are going to have the kind of election that we should have. And then it will be a win both in the popular vote and the electoral college. Okay? If it comes to the former president, uh, Barack Obama chimed in into the debate on mail-in voting Monday, knocking down Trump's claim that it would lead to widespread fraud. Voting by mail shouldn't be a partisan issue, especially during a pandemic, the ex-president wrote. Everybody should be able to request an absentee ballot. And make their voice heard in every election. I mean, come on. What is this? Y'all stupid? Oh. Anyway. 
Obama then linked to a national public radio article said that the possibility for fraud was such a minuscule amount that it's not statistically um, meaningful. Uh, as a coronavirus continues, so do the calls from Democrats to allow for such mail-in voting um, at, for such mail-in voting as possible. Okay, I'm all right. As the coronavirus uh, pandemic continues, so do the calls from Democrats to allow for such, I um, mean, as much mail-in voting as possible in November to cut down on Americans standing in long lines to vote, which makes common sense. Am I right? Common sense ain't so common now. Poll workers tend to be older Americans and who are the most at risk if they contract the virus. So, of course, I'm not working the polls at all. Um, didn't work the last election either. Clinton, who remains a divisive figure, is yet to campaign for this year's presumptive, um, let's see, uh, uh, he, he, well, he, he, you know, we, we, should we really talk about this, dude? I mean, I just, sometimes I just even hate mentioning his name. He's so damn nutty. Um, I know it's part of it, though. Um, I mean, anyway, she, uh, she, she's going to campaign for this year's presumptive nominee, Joe Biden. Of course, y'all know that. Noah, who returned on Monday from a two-week Fourth of July break, Asked Clinton how she had been spending her time during the lockdown. Because I know if I was in your position, I would spend most of my time tweeting. <laughs> I told you so. And I would walk around the street just looking at people saying, it could have been me. It could have been me. <laughs> well, you know, before the lockdown, I was doing that. <laughs> Clinton joked in response. I mean, there's probably video. Clinton also attacked Trump for commuting his friend Roger Stone's uh, prison sentence, a decision the White House announced on Friday. Noah asked Clinton whether the president should be have the power to commute sentences, particularly when the person in question is related to them in the case, and what President Trump could be sending to America by partnering anybody who protects a president by not snitching? In response, Clinton said, I think you just summed up why Roger Stone was pardoned. He basically threatened Trump. He basically said, I'm sure I don't I, I don't want to go to jail. I sure have a lot more to say. And boy, I just wish there'd be somebody who could stop me from having to go to jail. And guess what? His buddy Donald Trump intervened, she said. This is an extension to the total disregard for the rule of law. The pardon power is supposed to be used for compassionate purposes, to try to right wrongs and to try to make sure people are not being punished unfairly or who have been punished enough. In this case, it's a continuation of the cover-up, she said. Because the one thing that Trump is fearful of when it comes to his being president is that we will finally see how illegitimate his victory actually really was, you know, and how he was involved in seeking the foreign help and the utilization of that help and how Roger Stone is real, real critical to that. Hey, she said that Stone's communication um, um, com commutation was yet one more reason to vote Trump out of office in November. So the full scale of his behavior should be brought to light with a new president in power. But you know, unless Trump is defeated in the polls in November, we will never really know everything there is to know about how this really deep in dismantling of the institutions and undermining the rule of law and the original sin of the way the actual election was actually won in the first place, she said. 
So Roger Stone was in the middle of, of it all. And that's why Trump had to cover it up. I mean, think about that, you guys. Think about it. That's why it had to be covered up. Trump couldn't do that. Anyway, the knock top this off. Um, Obama said everybody should be able to vote by mail and takes aim at Donald Trump. Uh, it takes aims at his claim that that will lead to widespread fraud. You know, I mean, everybody knows it won't, and it should be a partisan. It, it, it shouldn't be a partisan issue. I mean, everybody knows that cares to know that Donald Trump is is a psychopath, pretty much. And y'all voted him in office, and y'all really get what you deserve. Um, however, y'all took Farrakhan off the air, but he told you the greatest bit of truth there was. He said, either you can vote for Hillary, and if you don't change some of this stuff, at least you'll go to hell slowly. But if you vote for Donald Trump, we're going to go to hell in a rocket ship. And you can say what you want to say about him. But he told the truth. We're on our way to hell in a rocket ship. Just like all the other great empires. Um, except this one's going to come down real quick. It's not a lot of time that America has been on the planet. Most civilizations and countries are thousands of years old. What, America, what, 500 years old? Can't go on like this. And with this type of demagogue in office. So, you say what you want to say. But if you don't get out there and vote. If you don't get out there and let your voice be heard. And you get four more years of this shit. Then, it is what it is. Now I'll wake the dead and have them go to the polls. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.